So today let's take a look at this dodgy Chinese water heater. It's from eBay for just two dollars including shipping and the listing says travel heater element boiler hot water coffee immersion 800 watts 220 volts adapter tools. Why does it say adapter tools? It doesn't make much sense. But they probably mean that you have to use an adapter to use it in different countries. But it doesn't come with any adapter. I have to use my own. So let's take a look at it. It's basically just a heating element with some plastic holder, a cable and a Chinese plug. And this water heater is different from the other heaters from my other video. Because this one has a resistive wire in it, heating the water. And those have just two metal plates in it with mains voltage in it. And it basically heats the water by passing a current through the water. There is basically a mains voltage applied to the water and the current heats it. It doesn't cause a short circuit because the water has a resistance. This really just connects the main voltage from this plug to those two metal plates in it. And of course, this makes the water alive. So it's very dodgy. And this one is a little bit less dodgy because it's probably isolated and it doesn't make the water alive. This one quite literally puts mains into your water. This one is isolated. But of course, as you can see, there is no ground connection. It's not grounded. So there is just a single layer of safety, not two layers. Because with a ground, even if the isolation fails in this, it's grounded and it will trip the breaker. So with the ground, you have two layers of safety. So this one is not compliant in Europe because it has to have two layers of safety, not just one. But of course, this one has zero layers of safety. And the cable here is quite thin, and it's quite flimsy. And this plug is quite tiny, in comparison with the other one, which is definitely bigger. And you can see the cable much thicker here. Now let's measure the resistance of it. It's about 97. So let's do some calculations. The current is I equals U over R and this is the voltage 220 volts nominal divided by 97 ohms and this is 2.27 amps and the power is P equals U times I and this is the voltage times the current and this is 499 watts so the nominal power is 500 watts not 800 guys as you can see the power is always a bit exaggerated but it's okay it should work well but now of course let's test it let's go Is it running? It seems to run. It works. And that's nice. The cable isn't even hot. And that's nice. And it starts to boil. And it's boiling. That's nice. And it's splashing of course. So let's turn it off. So it works really well. Now the question is what happens if you accidentally run it with no water? And because, for example, this electrode heater, if you turn it on with no water, it's completely fine because there is no water, there is nothing to conduct the current and so there is no heat. It only runs in water. And 
With no water, there is no power. But what about this one? Does it have any protection? What if you just accidentally put it on your table and leave it in power? And the glass may also crack, so the heater also ends up on your table. So let's test it. It glows! Nice! And there is some fire. So as you can see, it has absolutely no protections and it can very easily set you on a fire. That's nice. That's amazing. And it's completely molten here. Amazing! It's nicely glowing! So as you can see this device is not bad, but it's also not idiot proof. Let's measure the current. It's about 2.4 amps. So this is Diet Gnuild and see you in my next videos and thanks to all of my patrons on Patreon. I really appreciate your support. And as you can see, it's not a Chinese invention. It was already produced in Czechoslovakia and in Soviet Union. This one is Soviet. It's rated 220 volts, 0.3 kilowatts and the price was 2 rubles.